So I just thought I'd quickly revisit the front panel design before I went ahead uh, with uh, putting it together, um, mostly to point out my mistakes, um, because there were a couple, and hopefully we're going to get away with them. So the first one is, you'll see there's a couple of Sharpie marks here um, on the inner front panel um, where the XLR connector is, and that's because uh, I'd remembered uh, for the meter to put some uh, holes for the uh, mounting screws to clear, and I had completely forgotten here. So there are two threaded holes on the, uh, the outer front panel, and uh, you would need very short screws indeed to uh, be able to uh, fit that without uh, having problems. So I have to uh, pop that under the drill press and uh, I'll probably go oversize with those. Um, they're uh, three millimeter um, screws, but we'll probably go a bit bigger just because my accuracy with the drill press isn't great. So, and it just needs to clear, so that, that should be fine. The other problem is a bit more severe. So uh, this is the original panel that was supplied uh, with the box. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we've got this problem here. I naively assumed that uh, these mounting screws were dead center, and they're not. They're exactly 10 millimeters offset. And the reason for that is because of the way this thing is put together using this, uh, this strip with the 10 millimeter spacing between the holes. Um, now, the idea is that um, uh, the mounting screws for the, uh, the top or the bottom would uh, engage on the very center one, which is uh, threaded, M3, whilst the others, um, the uh, mounting screws for the front and rear panel, um, would, uh, would go right the way through there and there'd be a nut on the back. Uh, now, obviously, you can't have both or it's going to be very difficult because, of course, since you've got a screw coming through that way, it's going to be very hard to come through that way in the same place. So that's why they've gone with this, uh, this 10 millimeter offset here. And I've amended my file so that we've got that now. So uh, likewise, those two uh, holes have been added to the, the, uh, the file for this. So when it comes time to uh, get another one made, it'll all be good. But I'm hoping that uh, we can go ahead and construct this as is because um, it is a bit expensive to uh, have to redo these things. Um, particularly that rear panel with the engraving and the powder coating, what have you. Uh, this one, not so much, but um, of course with the, uh, the inner front panel, you could just leave those out. Um, no one will ever know. Um, so that, that's a possibility. Of course with, the, uh, with the, uh, the rear panel being visible, don't really want these two uh, countersunk holes with no screws in, that would look weird. But I'm hopeful that uh, we can come up with a solution. Um, basically what I found is that uh, dead center, um, this is actually uh, threaded internally. So um, you'd have a hard time getting a, a, a screw in there that would come out the other end because it, uh, it won't engage. But if you can get a short enough one that'll just uh, go there, you'd be right. And you might need an extra short one on the top or indeed maybe just leave out the screws top and bottom. Um, and hopefully the uh, thing doesn't. Uh, uh, the other issues, well, um, one thing I did notice, um, I had constructed the, um, the outer front panel um, using the, uh, or designed for the uh, same uh, rack handles uh, that were supplied with the unit, and they're fine. Um, I had trouble uh, locating a source of ones that I liked better, so I was okay with that. Um, but I've now found that uh, I can get something a bit nicer, I quite like the other simple sort of curved tube, chrome plated. Looks pretty cool. Um, I found a source for those, but I can't get those with the same center to center spacing. So be as it'll be. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to share my mistakes and uh, just to serve as a warning for others. Once again, thanks for watching.